From the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. From the black core of dark Africa, land of enchantment, mystery, and violence, comes one of the most colorful figures of all time, transcribed from the immortal pen of Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan, the bronzed white son of the jungle. And now in the very words of Mr. Burroughs, the story of the omen of the emerald. There lies in the northern sector of Africa, the river Bugara, which winds its way to the borders of the forbidden land of Zoroka. No white man has ever ventured into the ill-omened land of Zoroka. None, that is, except one Lord Kingsley and his lady, whose disappearance 20 years before the time of our story has become somewhat of a legend. And perhaps the following account would never have been recorded, were it not that Tarzan had one day noted the ominous maneuvers of Ska, the vulture, flying low overhead, circling some creature not yet quite dead. As Tarzan made his way to the spot, Numa the lion dropped from a ledge and moved cautiously toward the form lying motionless on the ground. The form of a white man. The man stirred at the sound of the king of beasts, struggled to rise only to fall back, terrified, staring at the huge creature. No! No! Merciful heavens, let me die, but not like this, not like this! No! Numa! Pagara! Pagara! Don't move. Numa will go away. Don't come close, man. We'll both be killed. Stay away. Away! Lie perfectly still. Pagara, Numa. Pagara, no. He is gone now. Are you all right? I... I guess so, thanks to you. For a moment, I thought I was done for. Uh, Numa was not hungry, just curious. But there would have been much danger if you had attempted to flee. I... I couldn't. Too weak from exhaustion and lack of food. Yeah. Oh, do, do not try to rise. I will carry you to safer ground where you can rest, and then I will find nourishment for you. Thanks, my friend. And then you must tell me who you are, what you're doing in this part of the jungle alone, without weapons. <laughs> It's peaceful here. You'd hardly expect to find a spot like this in the heart of a menacing jungle. Well, there are many beautiful places to be found in this country, if you know where to find them. Are you feeling better now? Much, thanks. Almost like myself again. I'm indebted to you for saving my life from the lion, and now for food and rest. You owe me no debt, and I, I would do as much for, for Numa. Oh, but... Strange one. Do you mind telling me who you are? I am called Tarzan. Tarzan? Not Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. This isn't possible. I was born in the jungle and am familiar with its ways. Let that be enough. More important, who are you? What, what are you doing in this wilderness alone? It's a long and almost unbelievable story. Well, then you'd better start at the beginning, huh? Very well. I'm Stanley Ford, an American. I'm a writer of sorts and an adventurer who has been subjected to too much adventure. I am listening. I have seen things which civilization could not possibly comprehend. I have been prisoner of the fiercest tribe of warrior women in the world, loved and befriended by the most beautiful girl ever to step foot on this earth. I have... I am more interested in what you're doing here. I'll come to that presently. Tell me, have you ever seen an emerald the size of your fist? There have been rumors that such a one exists. Have you seen it? Not exactly, although I have been under its evil influence. In civilization, it would be worth a fortune. You hope to acquire this great emerald? Well, that wasn't my original intention. But don't misunderstand me. I wouldn't pass it up if it were handed to me. No, my purpose in coming here was to obtain information about Lord and Lady Kingsley, who disappeared completely into thin air about 20 years ago. There have been many searches made, all unsuccessful. Then you know about them, too? My search also was unsuccessful. They're dead, both of them. And, and you know where they died? Yes. You see, I have just returned from the forbidden land of Zoroka. We shall
shall return to our story in just a moment. Many perils lie in wait for those who penetrate the heart of the jungle. Not all of those who enter return to relate their experiences. Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, has upon this occasion protected and befriended one of them, Stanley Ford, the first white man ever to escape from the forbidden land of Zoroka. But our story has only begun. It's the most terrifying country imaginable, ruled by the fiendish Tosca, under the cursed spell of the Great Emerald. You spoke of a beautiful girl. Ah, yes, Lorena. She is extremely beautiful, but very unhappy. Who is she? Queen of Zoroka. She's the daughter of the Tosca. But it's a funny thing. He's dark and Lorena is white. I have no proof, of course, but I think she's really Lord Kingsley's daughter. Does it not bother you that you may never know? I intend to find out. I won't leave here until I do. You're in love with this girl? The one you call Lorena? Very much. But I'm also loyal to Quinn. If he still lives, I intend to rescue him as well as Lorena. If all that you say is true, perhaps I can help you. You? You'll organize an expedition? No, Tarzan works alone. Oh, then we'd better forget it. Even you are not a match for the Tosca, or for Gima, the cruelest of all warrior women. We shall see. As soon as you're rested, we will set out for the land of Zoroka. My friend, I'm rested. Say no more. Let's get going. And so Tarzan and the American adventurer started out on their long trek to the far side of the land of Zoroka, where they hoped to gain entrance without encountering the main horde of warrior guards. It would be a long and arduous journey at best, but they wasted no time in making their way through the jungle. On the second day, both were beginning to feel safe from pursuit, when suddenly the bronzed white son of the jungle grasped his companion by the arm and flung him into the overgrowth at the side of the trail. What the... What's the matter, Tarzan? Someone is almost upon us. Gima and the warrior women of Zoroka. Do not move. There are many of us surrounding you. I'd rather die than become their captive again. Come on, Tarzan, run! Come on, make a break! Your friend has better sense. See how you like this! No! So, so you do not like Gima's whip, eh? Pastor Bunga, bring the prisoner back. Harunga. You... You and your fiendish bullwhip. It is best not to disobey the orders of Gima. Under the circumstances, she's right. You took a long chance. I guess our plans will have to be postponed permanently. The beast... Silence! We have uncovered a rare prize with the capture of this bronzed one, huh? Eh? <laughs> what are they so tickled about? They say I look very healthy and strong and that I will make an excellent addition to those already confined to the palace dungeon in Zoroka, including Mr. Quinn. Very funny. Now, this ends everything, and I got you into this mess. Do not lose hope. All is not lost. And now, Mr. Ford, you and your friend will accompany me back where you came from, to Zoroka. And I warn you, one false move and you will again feel the sting of Gima's whip. Pagawara! Pagawara! <laughs> Into the dungeon, both of you. This time, Gima will see to it that there is no escape. Sudora! Welcome home, stranger. Quinn! Don't tell me you didn't expect to see me. After all, I'm not getting around much these days. Good old Quinn. You never seem to lose your sense of humor. I guess I don't need to ask you whether you had a successful trip. Glad to know you're alive, though. Who's your friend? He saved my life in the jungle, only to wind up here, too. Tarzan, this is a man I told you about. Tarzan? Not... Well, uh... So you're Tarzan. You know, frankly, I never believed you actually existed. Well, as you see, I live quietly in the jungle. But it is possible that stories have been told about me. I'll say they have. Glad to have you with us, although I guess that's not much cause for celebration. You'll be forced to share our fate. Your fate may not be as black as it seems. Take a look around you, friend. See any possibility of escape? Bare rock walls, one tiny barred window, a slit in the door. I know. I've been here before. You what? They've captured you? 
When I was commissioned to search for Lord and Lady Kingsley, I, I was captured, as you were, and thrown into this same dungeon. Then you knew about this place all the time? Yes. That is why I decided to help you. Then you must have escaped before. Certainly they didn't release you. I did escape, but not from this dungeon. Although I could have much easier than the way I was forced to. Well, then how do you expect... I to... will show you something. Do you, do you see that section of the wall, the section that seems darker than the rest? It's just a section of reinforcement. It deceives you. Watch while I turn this bar at the window. A secret passageway. Well, I'll be. And to think that I went over this cell with a fine-toothed comb for weeks. I must close it before we're discovered. Do you know where the passageway leads? To the Queen's chamber. But she is not aware of it. To Lorena's chamber? Yes, this passageway was created long before the time of Tosca's reign. None of the present generation know about it. Well, things are looking brighter. You overlook one thing. What's that? There's the passageway to freedom. You saw it. Can any of us hope to reach complete freedom without the knowledge of the Tosca? They say he needs only to stroke a great emerald in order to find us and bring us back. Oh, now, pal, don't let this thing get you. The Great Stone has no control over my actions. Then you don't believe that the emerald has such strange powers? No, but the Tosca does, and so do his people. It's a superstition that has great effect upon everyone here. And will have until the spell is broken. And as soon as we get possession of the Great Stone, we can expose the hoax. Yes, that's the only way. Once the emerald is taken from the Tasca, the spell will be broken. Lorena will help us. She wants to get out of here as much as we do. If we can reach her, that's the rub. But the passageway leads right to her chamber. Lorena's in custody. Has been ever since she helped you escape. How do you know this? Lepo, her faithful servant, brought the information to me, knowing of your love for each other. Lorena in custody because of me. Why, if I could only lay my hands on the task, Wait, I... someone is coming. Who? I do not know. Perhaps you do. Look through the opening in the door. It's Lepo, my informer. Maybe he has news for us. What are you doing here, Lepo? I bribed the guards to let me pass, O oh worthy one. What's up? Evil deeds are at this very moment being planned in the palace throne room. What sort of evil deeds? The Tasker is holding counsel with his nobles. He intends to place the bronzed one without weapons in the arena with Vita, the Black Panther. Why, you, you won't have a chance, Tarzan. Tell me, faithful one, when does he plan such an exhibition? Tomorrow, in the afternoon. Good. Then all is well. What do you mean, all is well? Your goose is cooked. I do not think so. But you heard what he said, the Black Panther. Where is Llorina, your queen, confined? In the tower at the far end of the palace courtyard. But I must go now. Someone approaches. Yes, go. And tell your queen that by the time the next sun rises over Zeroka, she will be free. <laughs> We will continue with Tarzan in just a moment. Imprisoned in the palace dungeon in the forbidden land of Zoroka, Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, and two American adventurers, Stanley Ford and Bob Quinn, patiently await nightfall before attempting their desperate bid for freedom through an abandoned secret passageway. Up in the palace throne room, Gima, leader of the warrior women, approaches the Tasca, who sits majestically upon a chair of gold, fondling a huge green emerald in his hand. Well, Gima, did you inform our illustrious guests of the fate that awaits the bronzed one? I did, exalted one, but they seem not greatly concerned, particularly the one called Tarzan. He is either very brave or very stupid. Tomorrow, we shall see how clever he is when he faces Vita, the Black Panther. And what of Lorena, my unfortunate daughter? She lies brooding in the tower and will not speak. Even my lashes brought forth no sound. She is a stubborn one. But save your lashes for the prisoners in the dungeon. They will do more good there. As you wish, exalted one. Go now and tend your duty, and mind you, it will mean your head if another prisoner escapes. Gima will see that no one escapes, your highness. One thing more. Yes, exalted one. Uh, did you do as I bade you in Lorena's chamber? Yes, and do not fear. No one will enter that room. <laughs> How much longer do we have to wait, Tarzan? It will not be safe to open the secret passageway until the guards are asleep. Just be patient, Mr. Ford. It will not be long. 
This dungeon's beginning to give me the whim-whams for sure. Aren't they asleep yet, Quinn? I don't know, but I don't hear anything. When they sleep, you will hear them snoring loudly. You say a watch pot never boils. I guess eavesdropping at the door won't help any. Uh, you'd both better get some rest. I, I will let you know when the time has come. What's your plan, Tarzan? First, we will go through the passageway to Lorena's chamber. From there, we can reach the corridor leading to the courtyard. Then we will proceed to the tower. Which is... The guards are asleep. We can start now. What a watch. They'd all be court-martialed where I come from. We must move quietly so that they will not awaken. Now stay close together. I will open the entrance to the passageway. All clear, Ford? They're sleeping like babies. You'd think we'd drug them. Over here. I will let you both through the opening and then close it behind me. Well, if that doesn't wake them, nothing will. Pipe down. Come on. Okay. I'm through. It's black as ink in here. What the... It's only me. You're walking up my back. Oh, sorry. Quickly. Follow the walls with your hands. Hope we don't meet anyone coming the other way. Tarzan will smell them a mile off. I hope so. What are we stopping for? The passageway divides here. We take the one to the right. Now stay close to me. Where does the other passageway lead? Who cares? Stay on Tarzan's road. We're almost there. Lorena's quarters? Her chamber is just beyond this wall. You stay here while I try the opening. Uh, but wait. Be very still. What's that? It is Punda, the tiger. Maybe we'd better go back. The tiger's in Lorena's bedroom. Yes. How do you account for that? The Tosca probably placed him there to guard the queen's possessions. But why? The Tosca doesn't need a reason. But what do we do now? I will enter the chamber alone. And tackle that beast? That's suicide. With Punda standing in our path, we cannot hope to reach freedom. Yeah, I know, but... Stand back against the wall of the passageway. Do not move as I enter. It will attract Punda. Don't worry. Still now. I'm going to open the door. I got it. Hello, Punda! Stop that! Tarzan's actually attacking that beast. With nothing more than a dagger in his hand. It's incredible. I've never seen such a display of courage and brawn in my life. Never. One and under! And a pair! be dreaming. He actually lifted that cat over his head and threw it to the floor. It's not moving. Punda is dead. We can continue now. But are you all right? Uh, Punda was very clumsy. I have only a few scratches. Man, what a fight. Man over beast. I see now why you aren't too concerned over facing the Black Panther. Vita, the panther, is more of a handful than Punda. I would not welcome that meeting. Personally, I'll avoid both. Come, we must waste no time. The door to the corridor is over here. We shall see how securely it is locked. Bolted from the other side. Well, we must try the balcony. Huh. This is good. Good? It must be 50 feet above the ground. There are heavy vines clinging to the side of the balcony. You see? You, you mean we have to climb down that stuff? No, no, no. I, I will go alone. It's going to be mighty lonesome until you get back. I will not be long. Look! In the courtyard below. Lions. A whole pack of them. They look hungry, too. You can't go down there, Tarzan. They'll tear you to bits. You're right. But there's no need to cross the courtyard. No? It is dark, and by swinging from the vines, I can reach the opposite wall unseen. From there, it will be a simple matter to reach the tower where Lorena is confined. I only hope you'll make it. Good luck to you, my friend. If I do not come back soon, return to the passageway and wait. <laughs> He's been gone a long time. Too long. Suppose something's happened to him. I don't like the sound of those drums. That means anything. It's not natural at this time of night. But don't worry about Tarzan. He'll make it. Look! Out there beyond the wall. Natives gathering with torches. Yeah. Maybe it's the tribe getting together for the big sporting event in the arena tomorrow. We'd better be thinking about what we're going to do if Tarzan doesn't show up. When the guards wake up to find our cell empty, the lid'll be off. I ain't forgotten about that minor detail. Maybe that's the reason for the drums and the natives. We'd better head for the secret passageway, and I do hope it's still secret. Wait! 
I think someone's coming. This is no time to form a welcoming committee. Come on, let's get out of here. It's Tarzan with Lorena. Oh, Stanley. Oh, and Mr. Quinn. Lorena, my darling. The bronzed one went through much danger to bring me here. Thanks, Tarzan. I knew you wouldn't fail us. You knew. For a while, neither of us were so sure. We've been discovered. We must waste no time in removing any trace of our whereabouts. Into the passageway, all of you. Uh, Come on, Lorena. My heart is overjoyed that you're safe. We're together, but oh, I, I'm, I'm so frightened. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. Hey, what about the dead tiger? It's a certain giveaway. Now move on into the passageway. I will toss the tiger to the lions in the courtyard. In here, Lorena. Take my hand. Hold it tight. It's dark. Watch your head. What about Tarzan? As soon as he gets rid of the tiger's body, he'll be along. Oh, my loved one. To think of the danger I've brought to you and your friends. You're not to blame, darling. The danger's been pretty chummy with us ever since we arrived in this country. But it was I who helped you escape. Now this. Your sacrifice is greater than any of ours. You're no longer queen. Or at best, you're a queen in exile. Oh, I've never wished to be queen, nor have I ever felt that I belong here. But you're the Tosca's daughter. Well, it is said that the Tosca is my father, but oh, I felt no devotion. It doesn't matter. Soon you'll be free, Lorena. Free to marry me, if you'll have me. You're very beautiful. Oh, dearest. Oh, please, Stanley. Oh, what'll Mr. Quinn think? I don't know how he can even see in this dark. Don't mind me. I... Shh. Tarzan must be coming. Tarzan moves silently. This is someone else and not alone. Gima and her warrior women. All right, back through the passageway. If we can reach the point where it divides, maybe we can lose... Remain where you are. It will be useless to run. You will not get far. Come on. She wins. It's no use, Quinn. She's got us. Yes, in this time for good, unfortunate ones. Step into the chamber and no tricks. Gima's whip has the lash of a sword. I have felt the lash of your brutal whip. So you have, Mr. Ford. Perhaps you would care for more. Better do as she says. Let's not take any chances for Lorena's sake. What's more, I don't like the looks of the artillery our female murder battalion's carrying. You are very wise. At least Tarzan got away. Maybe they'll turn the palace grounds upside down until they find him. Place your hands firmly behind your backs. I love you. And come with me. There is someone who is most anxious to meet you. So, Lorena, you have chosen your lot. You have betrayed your people, and you have defied me, the Tosca of Zoroka. Have you nothing to say? I have never been one of your people. I was forced to become queen. To be ordered about as a will moved you. You are right. I have cast my lot with the Americans, and I'm willing to accept my fate. You know what that fate may be? Even if it is to be death in the den of the lions, I do not care. There is still time to repent, my daughter. Don't do this because of us, Lorena. Save yourself. At least you may live. You see, Lorena, your lover wants you no more. That's a lie. If I thought we had a Chinaman's chance of getting out Enough. of here, I'd... You are very wise, Mr. Ford, and very courageous. But there is no escape for you this time. What have you done with Quinn? Why have you taken him away? Ah, uh, yes, of course, your friend. Uh, we thought perhaps he might be able to tell us where the bronzed one may be found. Uh, Gima has taken him away uh, to question him. Why, you... <gasps> what was that? You hear? Poor man, perhaps he does not know, but uh, Gima will keep trying. Quinn, why you... Why don't you stroke that phony emerald in your hands? It's supposed to know everything. Unfortunately, only one thing, only one man is beyond the power of the great emerald. You couldn't mean Tarzan. Doesn't that worry you a little at this moment, your exalted highness? Tarzan is free and maybe not far away. Oh, please, please, darling, do not antagonize him. The bronzed man of the jungle will not get far, and when he is captured, he will be tossed into the pit of serpents. He will be the first to face such torture in 20 years. And who were the last to be faced with such torture, Lord and Lady Kingsley? Uh, how did you know? Then Lord and Lady Kingsley did come here. And you killed them. After the birth of Lorena, they became a nuisance. <gasps> Lorena, that proves that you're Lord Kingsley's daughter. He's bluffed everyone, including yourself, into believing that you're his daughter. Oh, this is too horrible. My parents killed in, in such a way. And now that you know, the same fate is in store for you. Oh, no. 
All of you. All right, go pop. Hasta upa Wait. Your exalted majesty, look behind you, right behind you, not three feet away. The bronzed one. Upa ungasa, unda nasu. You do not move swiftly enough, Tusk. Pagara, upa ungasa. It will do no good to call your warriors. They will obey you no longer. I have the emerald. Your powers have left you, Tusca. Your people are fooled no longer. Pagara. Uh, you have been a wicked ruler, Tusca. The land of Zoroka will be better off without you. Quinn, I thought you were dead. Come on, Ford. Bring Lorena. The natives took care of Gamer. What happened? Tarzan convinced him there was no power in the emerald. Oh, then we're free. Oh, we're all free. Yes, my darling, we're all free. Thanks to Tarzan. The land of Zoroka will be a peaceful country now. Come. I will lead you to the coast. You know, the only peace I'm looking forward to is the peace and quiet of the good old USA. <laughs> Tarzan, a transcribed creation of the famous Edgar Rice Burroughs, is produced by Walter White, Jr., prepared for radio by David Chandler, with original music by Albert Glasser. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>